on beautiful people this is blue nola i'm back in the building with another reading i hope all is well today we're gonna do justin timberlake arrested on dwi charge in the hamptons told the police he had one martini all right i'm getting this from nbc news um before we get started though i just want to say thank you for coming through i appreciate you sometimes i put the cart before the horse um, I appreciate you so much for coming through and supporting the channel. Um, don't forget to just share your feedback in the chat as you're hitting the like button, okay? Please, please do that. And don't also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm going to be honest. I really have always enjoyed Justin Timberlake's music. Um, I remember when he and Britney Spears were a couple. I thought they were the cutest couple. I always kind of wish that they would get back together, but it didn't happen. Um, and it seems like... This is his second scandal because remember, uh, maybe about two or three years ago, it wasn't this situation, but he was caught canoodling with uh, one of his co-stars or somebody that he was working with. Remember, it was I think it was a biracial girl or a biracial woman. We did a reading on that. It's on the channel. Uh, and so it seems like he had been staying out of trouble and just low key. And then he reemerged where... With, I guess NSYNC was saying that they were coming back together to do something together. And then he ended up putting out Selfish, that new song. I love that song. Um, and the one thing I, I noticed when I saw the video, I'm like, damn. Why is Justin Timberlake aging like a raisin? Like, what is happening here? And I just remember, like, you know, everybody ages differently. But I'm like, what's going on? Like, it, it made me feel like he wasn't getting enough sleep. It made me feel like maybe he's drink. I, he just looked just rough. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you agree with me or disagree with me. But that's just when I saw him, I was just kind of taken by surprise, I think. Um, we are all aging. You know, nobody's going to stay the same and look the same forever. But I think I was just shocked by that, right? Um, and so this situation, to me, is not a surprise. Because when he came out with Selfish and I saw him doing Selfish, you know, I'm like, I put it on my playlist. Of course, I shared it on my Instagram, which is Blue No Little Official. And I was excited about the new song, right? You know, when I lived in Las Vegas, you know, shit, I was a big <laughs> Justin Timberlake fan, you know. And, you know, I just enjoy his, enjoyed his music so much. So when he put out Selfish and I saw, saw him... You know, he was, you know, going back and, you know, doing press tours and talking. I'm like, well, what, what's happening with Justin Timberlake? Right? He looking like, child, he been, <laughs> he been hit with, 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 with you know, tired stick or something. So, this is not surprising. I'm going to be honest with you. You know, this is not, and I'm just giving some commentary about, like, just kind of when I first saw him back on the scene, what I initially thought. Like, oh, what's going on with Justin? So, this doesn't surprise me. Again, don't forget to throw your feedback how you feel when you saw him, you know, reemerge. You know, he and NSYNC are supposed to be doing something together. Um, and I was I actually was being nosy over there, you know, on their, their Instagram, checking out what they were about to, you know, put together, what have you. And then he put Selfish out. So, let's get into the actual reading. Enough of me talking. They said a pop heart, the pop star was taken into custody. Uh, in Sag Harbor, in the Sag Harbor community of the Hamptons on Long Island, um, they claimed that he was driving while intoxicated. Um, they said Justin Timberlake claimed that he had just one martini before he was pulled over. He failed to yield the uh, he failed the field sobriety test and was arrested on suspicion of intoxication, um, driving intoxicated early Tuesday. All right, in an affluent Hamptons, Long Island, police said. Um, he's identified as a 43-year-old Franklin, Tennessee resident with a criminal complaint, was arraigned and released without having to post bail uh, about nine after, after he was arrested. Mm, my, my little Justin Timberlake getting arrested, Gio. I never thought I'd see today. He pleaded guilt, not guilty and was ordered to appear in court on July 26th. His attorney, Edward Burke Jr., said in a statement Wednesday, I look forward to vigorously defending Mr. Timberlake on these allegations. Child, he was driving drunk. You act like the man <laughs> went and robbed, you know, held somebody. <laughs> What's he talking about? 
Um, he said he's going to vigorously, uh, you know, defend these allegations. And I mean, what? He took a field sobriety test. He failed it. Um, and he has a card of judgment coming out. Chimberlake was behind the wheel of a gray Florida registered BMW when he was stopped. Um, a little after 12:15 a.m. near a Madison Street near Madison Street and Middle Line Highway. Initially, the uh, for the driving through the stop sign and failing to stay on the right side of the road, according to the criminal complaint. Mm -mm -mm. But once police spoke to Justin, they said it was clear that he was not in shape to drive, according to the complaint by the police. Um, they ascertained that the defendant was operating. A said vehicle in an intoxicated condition that his eyes were bloodshot and glassy he had a strong odor of alcohol beverage emanating from his breath he was unable to uh, to divide attention Wow he was had slow speech was unsteady uh, afoot and performed poorly on all standards of the field sobriety test Wow and almost you know and this and he has a power card with you know, that could lead to accidents, you know. Um, they said the officer quoted when Timberlake is saying, I had one martini and I followed my friends home. He also declined to be tested for impairment, said police who told, allegedly told them, I'm not doing no chemical tests. Wow. When you get to decide that. Um, they said a refusal can be introduced in the trial to establish uh, conscious evidence of guilt. This is, uh, let's see where else. Uh, Tim really had dined at the American Hotel in the Hamptons community. Um, and then let's see what else they said. Anything else? And he was supposed to play. Now, this is what's crazy. I see the blogs writing. Well, he still went in and he performed. Like, what are you supposed to do? Most They got people drink at home and still go to work. What do you mean? He's, he's just supposed to stay home and cry? Um, okay, so that's it. Now, I had a subscriber... Send me something from Pop Crave. It's another magazine place, I guess. And Pop Crave said Justin was allegedly had trace of Molly, Poppers, Trevita, and Coke in his bloodstream following his DIW arrest in New York. That's crazy. All right. So I don't know how true that is, but that's allegedly. Give me the energy around Justin Timberlake in that drinking incident. What's what's that? As we were talking, it was already popping out, y'all. Literally, impaired judgment. Judgment card is in reverse. Literally. Literally. Your judgment was impaired, right? And you were having a tyrant moment. And you were have you you were not in control. Like, this is what it talks about. And they're gonna try, of course, to, you know, spin the narrative. And then, you know, I could say it's, you know, rich privilege and some maybe some White privileges might be taking a shape here, but Page of Swords is basically that's manipulation, and you're, it's almost like they're gonna try to manipulate um, this situation. Um, but make no mistake about it, his impaired, his judgment was um, actually impaired, and you know he was not, you know he was not, um, you know in any position based based on even his message here. In his tower message to be driving. This is what it shows, right? Um, I feel like his family's going to still, of course, support him. And there's a support here and support here. I don't feel it's going to affect his career a whole lot. I mean, his star card is here and he's going to keep moving forward. Listen, a lot of people have a lot. These people, Justin Timberlake, NSYNC, that's a solid fan base. You're, that's not going to deter these people from showing up, supporting him, going to his concerts, none of that. He's still moving forward in his star aspect. He's still going to be shining. He's still going to be moving forward. Yeah, they're going to have some people gossiping and talking about it. You may also hear some other stories about Justin Timberlake. When you see this, this is a deception aspect. This is people talking about how he expresses himself. This is actually uh, some other stories that may come out about Justin Timberlake. So all of this is all you things like this is just a ripple effect. You know, a ripple effect of what's been being done behind the scenes. Who is... You know what type of what type of you know what does he do like does he does he get drunk, drunk on a normal basis um you know has he gotten behind a car before like what is his real lifestyle a lot of people live in double lifestyles right what is his real lifestyle is he just you know why is he drinking so much like why is he, you know was it just a one-time thing like it's so many questions you can just think about but 
make no mistake about it. He's not losing no fan base and no money or no opportunities behind none of this. None of this. Just make it clear. But it definitely shows his judgment was impaired. It definitely shows that he shouldn't have been driving. I see where his family is going to still stand behind him. And there's still, I feel like there's still going to be people, you know, you may hear a couple of rumblings down the road. But other than that, Justin Timberlake is, is literally moving forward. He's literally moving forward. Now, when you look at the Tower card for health and you look at the Judgment card for health, those things are, um, you know, interesting because the Judgment card represents somebody who could have, like, you know, could seek treatment. Now, that could be, you know, you know, a person who decides, you know, I did, you know, go get a little ahead of myself and I, I need to go and maybe look into this, right? Um, that's good for the image. That's good for him. You know, that is a judgment of that, that, that could represent that. He also has tower aspects. Tower is an accident. You know, a lot of people do tower. We know that, right? That means, you know, the tower could represent somebody who can get into an accident. But more specifically, even when it comes to health situations, this talks about, you know, like, like he's drinking to the point when you look at that from a health perspective, and I'm not his doctor. That's like saying if he doesn't stop that behavior, Right, that means as he gets older, this is why he's 42. Um, what's going on with that's drinking, not sleeping, partying, and whatever else got that's what ages that's what speeds up your aging process, right? You know, of course, age has a lot to do with your you know, your genetics and all that, but that doesn't help it, right? In the messages here, he does have the star card for health as well, okay? And that star card could represent for him, you know, something that. He he does that. Honestly, the star card for help is one of the messages around intoxication. All right, drugs. Now, I'm not accusing him of anything, but this does represent intoxication and drugs. So he wasn't. There's based on the messages, he was intoxicated, and there it does show that in here. Okay, so I'm just you know again, I'm just the messenger. This is just for entertainment purposes only. I'm not no doctor. And we just, you know, we, we just pulling on the messages at this point. Okay. So I know I said a whole lot. And again, you may hear some things. Let me get my notes. You may hear some things, um, you know, down the road about just, it may not be right now. When you look at this, this is like psh, one to 10 months, one to one to 24 months, one to 20, 24 months down the road. You may hear some little rumblings long down the road. Um, so that's it. And when you ask, what is his mental state? Judgment card and judgment impaired. He's, you know, clearly, you know, that's, that's there. That somebody asked me, what's his mental state, right? Does he have a problem? It shows there may be some concerns or something. Will he go to therapy? This shows it up in there. He may, you know, may go to therapy, right? Um, will some, will other, other things come out about him? It's in this messages right here. Again, rehab, this, somebody asked that again, that's here. Um, now family, I feel like his family is going to still stand behind him and support him. Is divorce imminent for them? You know, I mean, they look like they were doing pretty good. You know, um, when I read for Justin the last time when he was doing that little sneaky link stuff, I felt like he and his wife were going to get working out and he did. So let's ask this time, you know, um, will he and his wife, you know, be challenged? I saw like a, a blog talking about, um, I, I don't know, it was one of the one of the blogs, but um, it's not a black blog. It's, it's a, you know, but they were talking about the wife was embarrassed. How does Jessica Bills feel about, you know, because they do still show like they will support him. But how does she feel like about all that is happening and going on? Three of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. She's still standing behind Justin Timberlake, right? Now, there is a message down the road where she, there's a message around they could fall apart. They could break up. It could inevitably end, right? But even if they ended the relationship, right? Just say, suppose she decides, they both decide, you know, we're just, we're, this relationship has run its course, right? They still, they still show up well here. There's a recovery here. So even if she's upset, like the blogs were suggesting, there is a message around negative talk and it talks about forgiveness and they move forward, right? So there's still a forgiveness aspect here in the Three of Swords. And she sticks by him, right? They, they show a, a united front. You see these two people holding hands together? They show a united front. She sticks by him, right? Good wife. But then down here, it shows in the messages, it could inevitably end and there's a walking away, right? Moving on. But the good part about the moving on, if they, if this all, because this is how it's playing out, they still remain what? Unified. 
So even if they don't work out as a couple, they're still going to show love and respect for each other and co-parent and be cool. There's not going to be no crazy situation like Jenny Mai and Jeezy, right? This this represents still trying to be cohesive and still having love for a person, but it's respect for a person, even though it didn't work out. This is what this is showing. And so even if they separate and, and somebody walks away, right? This is her. Even if they decide to separate, they still stay intact as a unit in terms of their their respect for each other, their children. They still stay, they co-parent well, and they still have respect for each other. And I love that. It's so many times people break up and people just be so bitter. And it's, it's, it's so ridiculous because it's just so, it's so negative. But they actually stay in alignment, right? Um, that's what it talks about. So I feel like she'll always, they'll always be cool to each other, which is great, which is great. But I do see, I do see where trouble can plague them, but they definitely show having a united front. Um, will, you know, Justin getting, you know, maybe seeking therapy, talking to somebody, he has a card, you know, the food, uh, food card in a positive. Will that be helpful to him or helpful for him? I mean, he doesn't have to come to the world and say, I'm going to rehab. I mean, he could, he could announce it to make the public feel like, you know, because people do care about their image. Um, But give me energy around him getting any help for this. He does show up like he does need. Let me say this. He does show up like he does need it because even though th this talks about, okay, you know, now that this has happened, I need to realign myself. Because let me say this. See how Tiffany Haddish was drinking and then she did it again? There's a potential for like another situation. So it talks about he needs to create boundaries for himself. And because what this talks about is that he could have another situation where, you know, um, that something happens. Right. And then that could lead to something. I think that going to, you know, for him, he, he needs to go through some type of something because what happens is this is here. He'll be holding strongly and then he'll fall. You know, again, this is a lack of judgment in this message here. Um, give me the energy around. Will he get some type of help for this? He needs to. Because it shows he does pretty well on his own. It's a struggle. But then he can also, you know, fall back again. Slide back. Will he get therapy or will he just, you know, try to manage this on his own? Ace of Swords, Star Card. Seven of Swords. You know how people temporarily go to uh, therapy That's, or temporarily look into something? That's how I, I see it. There's a temporary, but then there's a reverting back to old behaviors. And, you know. Now, let's talk about the whole thing with the trivia. I know a lot of people is asking, I'm talking about that. Now, let's just let's just do this. I don't want to just focus on that. Because I don't want to offend people who do take the, the drug. But... Let's say this in his page of cups cards to answer like his lifestyle. This could represent a person who could be promiscuous, right? Page of cups energy. Um, this could represent a person who could be living a double life. This could represent a person who, um, you know, has struggled with this their whole life, right? Meaning, have had certain feelings about certain things in terms of sexuality. I don't want to get on this channel. It's not my job to dissect everything with his lifestyle. But this is what he does have. It he, It is here. All right. In his messages. And when you see this page for a man, this page can represent a young male. Right. Like a person who is young. Young meaning page would be like somebody who is between the ages. Like he could have been really young, like even his early teens, early 20s, having certain feelings around his sexuality there is a, a message here around um a message here around permis being promiscuous and also too he's not he's he's at an age group he ain't about to be coming and he come from an era he ain't about to be coming here telling you you know at this moment until unless he decides to hey this is my lifestyle okay so to answer that there is something here that represents that question that Pop Crave had about. Um, so if I had to answer Pop Crave's response, I definitely see, you know, um, that he was indulging. There's an alcohol aspect there. There's a, uh, you know, an indulgent aspect, indulgence aspect there. 
and you know if I had to answer the question about sexuality just in a way that's not disrespectful there is something about you know now you don't have to be uh, of course just because if you're gay you're, you're promiscuous he has the messages of being promiscuous so that's I'm not trying to insinuate that his his message is the message of promiscuity so that's what I'm gonna say um and I'm gonna leave it at that he needs to be careful. This 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 chariot is here. This could represent uh trouble, more trouble, right? So also to legally, you know, he may want to just try to resolve it and not make it get bigger. Because at the end of the day, like, you know, um, you know, these police have cameras now, you know, I mean maybe even in the upper echelon area and um, you know just own it like why are you sitting here trying to that's because you know once again he's trying to defend his name his brand versus you know just like when janet jackson had that um incident you know they told me how he was more concerned about protecting himself than he was protecting her you know um, standing up for her and he's doing the same he's doing the same exact thing he's not taking accountability um will this legal situation if they go into a legal situation what does this look like for justin timberlake And sir, they're going to be able to say, like, they're going to be able to show and prove that you are not in control. You have the, you know, message here that talks about, you know, you were burnt, you know, you were burned, you were burned out, <laughs> you know, like you was, you was, you was burned out, baby. What you talking about? You know, um, you know, like, first of all, you drunk as a skunk, you know, swerving on the road. You're going to sit here and now say, I'm sober now. I know exactly what I did. No, you don't. You got the Knight of Cups and you got the Four of Swords here. And this also represents, that's in your imagination that you was doing the right thing. And that you doing a camera moment. Own your shit and let it be a teachable moment. You're not perfect. Nobody is. Let it be a teachable moment. I do feel that he is concerned about like how it looks because this represents his priorities and how people see him. This talks about how people view him. But sir, you're not gonna you're gonna be fine. You're gonna have a few people chatter, but you still have the star card, which means you'll be fine in your career. And at the end of the day, it's okay to say, I have a problem. My name is Justin Timberlake. I'm forty two years old and I have a problem. It's okay to say that. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, if he tries to take this further, they'll be able to show and prove that he was um, he was out of his uh, he wasn't right. He has the six of swords. He has, you know, also too. Okay, why why drinking? Why this? Why are you doing that? Is it something that was a one time thing? There's a issue. There's a thing around unresolved emotional issues, and uh, you know this could be difficulties in dealing in life, dealing in relationships, heavy work schedule. Right? Stuff like that. Personal transitions, um, things of that nature. People use uh, drinking and all kind of stuff to medicate, to get through the day, etc., etc. His wife, his life with his wife doesn't even look too bad either. I mean, it actually doesn't. I mean, he had the Ten of Cups with her, the Queen of Pentacles with her. Um, they had another message in there. They don't have a lot of cards like their marriage is just in disarray. Just sometimes people just don't be happy just from being in turn, you know, with some of the things that's in and around them, right? Because even in the back of her hand, she shows up as the queen of wands for him. And that's actually positive. That talks about encouraging him and she loves him and she supports him and all of that. She knows who he is. Like she's like, none of this is probably surprised her. You know what I'm trying to say? None of this probably surprised her. Because this could represent, the person has knowledge, you know, not about a double life. Because, you know, when most men are living a double life, you don't know shit about that. But she knows some of the struggles that he faced. And she still loves him in spite of it, right? So, this is the end of the road for me and Justin Timberlake, baby. I like I like your song, Selfish. I think that should be uh, <clears throat> number one. And I think you need to own your situation. And I think that... You need to go to rehab, and I think that 
you got to stand up for what happened. You know, you can't sit down. Is this karma? Like, people help you trying to throw Janet Jackson situation in that. Is this karma for not standing up for Janet Jackson spirit? Give me the energy around Justin Timberlake. You know, what goes around comes around, baby. You know, karma, she don't never miss, you know, okay? Yes, she don't never, ever miss. Shit. Releasing the pain, dark thoughts, detachment, sexual energy. To me, this is more about a person that's just going through an internal struggle, guys. I mean, this is what it looks like. Somebody who's been a young person in a the business, they've gone through internal struggles. They got a lot on their plate. They have a lot of responsibilities. They got this, they got this, they worry about this, they don't about that. And they have their own, like, demons, right? That's what it talks about. And, um... You know, and then also to being in this business, you know, kind of surrendering to certain elements of it, right? I'm just saying. So, mm -hmm, that's it. All right. I do feel like the court situation will, like, you'll hear some more about it. Shows it here. Um, this talks about, um, you know, also too, this is perfect. I know a lot of people be like, love Justin Timberlake. Like, I do, I love his music. But this message on the back of the hand is interesting because this talks about bitchy. And this could be talking about his, like, he's easily influenced. And this could also talk about sometimes he can't have a certain energy. He seems friendly, but there's something about his energy. I, I would be surprised if more people talk about how he comes across. I know Britney Spears mentioned it in her book about some of the little stuff he used to do. But this message represents his uh, how he can be easily influenced. Uh, how he can kind of come across in a way. He can be nice, but he can also have a little rudeness or bitchiness to him. Um, you know, and, um, and, and also carry some bitterness. So, anyway... I still like his music. All right, y'all. Go, go stream Selfish. Peace and blessings. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share if you care. And I will talk to you on the next video. Um, we're going to be doing Kenya more next. The Housewives of Atlanta. She's supposed to be indefinitely suspended. They put a pause on her and then they supposedly unpaused her. So, um, she's next. If you have any questions about Kenya or uh, the Housewives, drop it in the chat. Okay? Peace and blessings. Bye. Have a great day. Oh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'm running a special on the website, you know, bluenolatero.com. Click the link, bluenolatero.com. The special is for the summer. I'm going to let it ride out all the way through the summer, okay? Y'all have a great day, and I appreciate you and your support. Take care. Bye-bye.